Hello everybody, and welcome to One Shot. I, um... There was a beginning of the game, it was super interesting and junk, but I accidentally, st like, streamed it and started recording it. So, uh... Big sad. And, uh, this game is, like, super immersive and junk, because it, like, talks to you as, as the, uh, player. And stuff like that. Could you not have opposing doorways? Thank you. Um, but anyway, it pretty much was like, hey, you're a person, but did you know that there's a god and that they're like, he, they're like watching you and junk? And it was like, yeah, I'm the god. So now, so now they're talking to me, like literally me, like my, my computer name. They used my computer name. So there's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. Okay. So this little fart nugget is Nico, and um, I thought this game would be cool and junk. I saw it on Steam, and uh, so so I bought it. It was on sale and junk, so why not? It's actually pretty lit because of the uh, immersion immersion junk, and um, basically uh, this light bulb in my player or my in Nico's hand is um it's a light bulb uh but it's the son of that world apparently like if it breaks the whole place is screwed up and I only get like the the game exited out uh earlier on and said I literally only have one shot at this and I could kill Nico so I'm probably gonna try not to do that but anyway I found a metal rod that I think will be helpful for a building I saw that has a thing that I need to open in it. But, uh, it's a good thing I hadn't gotten very far in the game. I, yeah, I think, I don't know. But anyway, it, it was sad, it got streamed. This is the only animate object I've seen around. It's a, a rubit. And he answered me some questions. Uh, pretty much this game rubs off some Delta Room vibes, because Delta Room probably rubbed off some vibes of this. Um, I'm guessing this was made first, probably, but, uh, anyway, the pipe won't fit under the cracks, says he. We needed something, we need to flatten it somehow. Aha! There was a place, there was a place that was, like, somewhere. It's really odd, this game is, like, bound and determined to not let me record it, because I, like, I spend four hours trying to record the dang thing and uh, getting OPS to work because OPS just being a poo-poo head. Ah, do you want me to crush the pipe here, Sensei? Oh, but I don't want to get too close. That was scary. But you didn't die. Haha. -ha. And now I've got crushed metal. I know what you mean, though. You should have totally had a face mask by all means and, like, some armor and, like, not been that close to it. But, um... These are the circumstances we are in. Hey, it's a crowbar now, apparently. How convenient how it turned in that shape. The bar should open it. Now what's inside? There's a little metal cube and some broken glass in here. It looks like it used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the side. Well, that's not gonna be too much help. Uh, also, the sun uh, in this world was a lighthouse, kind of. But now it's broken. So that's why the world is very dark. It really does suck. It was, uh, it was really cool. Yeah, I, I tried to go back and junk, but, um, it wouldn't let me. It, it's kind of like, uh, the battery fits in the slot perfectly. It looks like we're right on track, but nothing happened. Yeah, because that thing broke, like, bad. There's a lot of small glowing shrimp in the jar. Some sort of small machine, I wonder what it does. I can feel my hands in a little bit. I was hoping I'd be able to put it in there. But I feel like Toby Fox was inspired by this junk. Maybe. I didn't really pay attention to who made it. Or when it was made. Just that it looked like an interesting game that was on sale. And, um, <laughs> lo and behold, this thing's a person to sell. It's pretty cool. This 
the house I came from. Lots of broken computers. This whole place is full of broken... Mm. I hate opposing doorways in two-dimensional games. Or top-down games. There seems to be a robot here in a boat. Oh, and we're gonna have to cross this ocean thingy here to, um... Get across, but I gotta power up these robot suckers, but I don't know how to do that. Also, it ends the game when I uh, go to sleep. Like, it doesn't end it, it closes it. Because apparently, my world interacts with their world heavily. Which is interesting and super weird. Yeah, the air here sucks. Um, sorry. We're gonna have to... And I tried to use my little empty bottle thingy here, but it doesn't do much. Feels like we're on the right track, though. Okay, so yes, I'm gonna have to use this light bulb here. Also, if I break that, apparently it's like the end of the world. Like, the whole place just goes dark. And if I exit the game without being in a bed, then the world, like literally blanks out for the for Nico, which this is pretty cool and it sounds like I'm nerding out probably but this is actually super lit and by that I mean super dark very dark but I'll stop uh, wasting your time and skip ahead to when I figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do or I start talking again we'll see Hello again. Are there more questions you wish to ask? Yes. Mm hmm Go on then, ask away. Can you tell me about the tower? Because these people weren't here when that was shown. How tall is the tower? I can't seem to even see the top. I'm not allowed to answer. But how do I get there? I need to get up there. In time says he will know with you. I see. Frick you, turd. You know I don't know what I'm doing. And Nico's, poor friggin' Nico is sitting here just like, confused and junk. I, I can come back there. Interesting. No, I can't go all the way. All right. Also, I earned an achievement from trying to smash the light bulb on the crusher thing that I made crowbar with, because I was curious. I forgot my actions had impacts, but uh, Nico straight up told me, yeah, I'm not destroying that. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> okay. I know, I really know how to tell a story. Back to the fast forward skipping and all that chunk. Yeah, they are bad here too. So I cannot go up simply. The air is bad. Bad air. Black clovers. Rubble piles. 
The entrance is ripped off. There's a sign here. Warning! Authorized personnel only. Visitors must see the head engineer for permission to enter the mines. Guess we should find the head engineer. <laughs> to which I retort, I have no idea where that would possibly be. And probably be dead. Oh yeah, there's a thing over here, I forgot about that. It's a safe with an eight digit code or some junk. I don't have any idea what it could be. Ooh. Although the poisonous gas is highly localized to the vent zones, Baron's workers were still recommended to wear gas masks. These masks were mandatory in active vent sites, of course. As more and more of the workforce got replaced by robots, we found ourselves with a surplus of abandoned gas masks. Seems like a waste to get rid of them all, so we kept them for emergencies. Where did you keep them, though? I need to find that. That's a helpful piece of paper that I didn't see before. So where can a guy and a Nico find a gas mask? Gotta find a mask, gas mask for our luminescent eyeballed having friend here. I know there's one crusher writer in here. Where would a guy find some on-site light bulbs? Nico's like, hey, here's hard to breathe. And, uh, that's exactly where a gas mask would be. What's left of, of a robot's arm? Oh, yeah, okay, I get it now. What's left of a robot's arm? Just a head. Yikes. They don't see happy to see that. Let's see. I hope we don't have to use that again. Uh... Fair enough. Okay, I'm not gonna make you shove a bottle in there. That's just a bad idea. That would send glass shards everywhere. It's hard because it's a puzzle game. Which is odd because... That really makes your decisions have weight. Oh, and also said I only have one shot at this. The game. Don't mind me a wandering. Where the bloody hell can a guy find a thing to do a thing? Maybe I can stick the light bulb in the machine. Doubt it though. Don't think we'd do us. Feels like we're on the right track though. It's a big machine. It doesn't seem to be doing anything, though. The rectangle shaped hole is in the middle. Looks like something used to fit here. Yes, I know it used to fit here. It was this, but it, it fits in a slot perfectly. We're on the right track, but nothing happened. Because it's not powered and it requires power and electric. Comes from light in this world, apparently. And I don't have anything to create no dang light but my bowel. And uh, the thing that I got this from is broke. So my battery is broken and ain't got no glass. And uh, pretty much when I get this place up and running, all the robots should be, well, except for the really broken ones, all the robots should be fixed up pretty good. And I, I already read those letters earlier, so I'm not going to read them again. Where can a guy find a repair kit of sorts? I need to find something to repair this battery. I was just checking again. Maybe if I take another rest, Nico will think of something. Oh yeah, and apparently Nico dreams when they go to sleep. AKA when the game shuts off when uh when Nico's in a bed. Which is weird. It's cool. Nice little touch. Not really a little touch, probably a big one. It's got dialogue. Not sleepy anymore. Yeah, you slept earlier. That's fair. 
then there's more gas vents up here. I probably shouldn't send you up there too many times. I think you might die. Think you might die. That would suck. Because I've only got one shot at this, apparently. Uh, oy vey. I already read all this junk. Thought it was going to be something helpful. Oh. I don't remember being here. Ooh. There is a person here. I didn't think that was an accessible point. Well, fast travel, thanks for telling me what's up. The light bulb. So are you the messiah? That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. Or at least someone doesn't look like a kitten. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat. No, uh I'm a person. You got the eyes of a cat. But cats walk on four legs. Well, either way. A child like you, being a messiah, just doesn't feel right. But that robot back there says there's no mistake. I know. Huh. <sighs> this is gonna sound cold, but I honestly think you're better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world has been falling apart for a long time. This manner of decay is un highly improbable. The sun can... It's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually. And we can't really leave. Just leave. Oh, you just got here? You must be headed towards the tower. Mm-hmm. So we're supposed to put the light bulb or sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend, and the power is strongest at the summit. Maybe it'll send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh! Don't take my word for it, though. Okay. Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry, I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of time before the robots are recalled. At least let me know you got the message, okay? Kip. Don't know who that is. Please do not touch that. Oh, sorry, I got curious. What is this thing? Backup power cells keeps me functional. The main generator barons run out of power some time ago. Could not even last a week without sun. Sorry to hear that. All we can do is make use of the light we have. But I've got a broken battery. Do you happen to know how to fix a broken battery? What's your shiny? Shelf is a weird tool piece of metal. Something's poking out from the shelf. Yeah, it's a screwdriver. You can take it if you want. It may help you. Are you sure? I have. Yes, I have many. Thank you. Can I fix a thing with it? Can't combine those. Poopy. Jar full of glowing trap. Top's covered with a wired mesh. It's a weird metal chess table covered in dust. I haven't played chess than anyone else for a very long time. Oh. Not even with other robots? No. Nobody in the Barrens have the capacity in their programming. Nobody here's tamed for that matter. It's a crate. It's a crate. Yeah, it's a crate. It's a photo of two people. The glass is a bit too foggy to see the details, though. Would you happen to know how to fix the thing, Liddy? What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least nobody in history knows. Then who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who wanted to study it before, but... Oh? He never told me if it went anywhere. Are you sure? I can take the broken battery and be like la-di-da with it. Uh, I 
apparently a battery. It has some broken glass in it. Can't combine this. Can't combine this. Well, um, thanks for the screwdriver, I suppose. Now, what can I do with a screwdriver? Hello again. Any more questions you'd like to ask? No. It's alright, thank you. In that case, I wish you safe travels. A robot without power. Can not one of you have, like, a, a battery? That I can, like, just take? It's empty now, still got shards at the bottom. Is there not a single robot I can pry parts out of? Can I screwdriver this? It won't turn on. Yeah, I figured that much. Uh, maybe I can take some junk out of this thing here. It's a power cell, I think. Oh! The word Fobra is written on the side. Didn't notice that earlier. There's a lot of small going shrimp inside the jar. It's a power cell, I think. Oh. Profit bot. Okay. Now I'm getting it. It's a big machine. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Yeah, yeah. Can't mess with that junk. Not yet, at least. This is where I entered from. Can I derive the screws on any of these? Uh, no. Welcome to the docks. Uh, hello? This robot doesn't have a power. Yes, yes. This would make sense. The air is bad. Yeah, that's gonna give you all sorts of cancer. Cliffs. Odd way to call the landmark, but okay. I guess it is a cliff. So I have a screwdriver, but what can I do with it? Can't do squat with that paper. Yeah, that's gonna be a bad time. No. I don't wanna die from suffocating Nico or something. That seems like a bad voodoo. The sun will not return and the abyss is calling my name. I'm sorry everyone for choosing to leave before the darkness suffocates us all. Well, somebody made a jump. They jumped to conclusions. Uh, uh, they died. <laughs> that's sad. Can I screwdrive this safe open? Seems like with a six to hand. No. I'm un unaware of any six digit codes that could possibly exist in this here puzzle game. A torn page of faded ink. Uh, missing date. With the mining operations going smoothly, minerals are no longer limiting our limiting factor. We will be able to build more resistant robots, both in body and mind. Specifically, the discovery of metal alloy two or 291 will likely allow the development of higher efficiency in circuitry. Okay. If you insist. You can see why I get a little bit confused by the pace. It's a little bit weird. Uh, no, I 
would like assistance. Shuffle weird tools and pieces of metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Silver is written on the side. Why does it say that? That's not important. Okay. That would be because it's silvers. A bit. It's made of metal. Doesn't look very comfortable. Yeah, well, this lady over here looks like, uh, she's a little bit gruff. So, I think it's fine. That's the way she like it, I suppose. Wait! Oh, okay, things changed. I saw you heading towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter, it is my duty to accompany at least this once. Oh, thanks. Well, cool, that's different. Look at these shrimp down here. A little gadget on the ground. Looks kind of like a camera. What's left of the camera, anyway? Probably even part of a robot at this point. Oh. Or not. I don't know. I've got a camera bit. Use the screwdriver to pull the lens out. Okay. Done. Hey, got a lens. Can I stick that in a broken battery? The lens pops right in. Hey, oh. We're using the sun direct. Using the sun direct to use battery. I would have never thought of that. Good thinking. Yeah, it looks like it's already fully charged. That was fast. Well, the sun has a lot of power. I can see a faint yellow glow in the distance. Don't stand too close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Looks like the entrance tunnel collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. We can walk. I can. But for you, it's a safety violation. I will not allow it. What's ahead anyway? It's a huge network of underground mines that the source of the world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. This is what propelled the world into the industrial age. So now it's lost forever? It's been a while now. The sun went out and the mines were first abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have been all cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Though there was always an insist going back. Oh. I hope he's okay. So she never went back in there. Interesting. Ready to leave? Mm-hmm. Yes, I have what I need. Let's go back to the beginning and turn this sucker up. Time to put the power in the hands of the people and the robots. Let's hope this charge battery does something. Holy macaroni. Whoa. We are online, baby. Back in business. Hey, we got some robots. I am functional. Did you power the generator? I guess it did. Right, Susie? Yes, we did. I am functional. I can walk. Good to know. Let's go to the docks in that case. I've been thoroughly puzzled. Hello, my amigo. Do you happen to be awake now? Oh, I am functional. Was it you who fixed the generator? Well, says he helped me. But yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. I am Robot310. Would you like to take me... Would I... <laughs> would you like me to take you somewhere? Are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still rusty. That's true. Hold on, Sizzy. I will find a way to help you. Or Sizzy and I will find a way to help you. Alright, we need to get some grease for the grease boy. So we've got robots up and running in junk. That's good to know. Not sleepy anymore. <sighs> Music made me tired. Oh god, the air's bad up here. Yeah, 
Yeah, leave before you die. I do not want you to die. I only get one opportunity to keep your sorry ass alive. Although I think you do a pretty good job of keeping yourself alive. It seems fine so far. You, you refuse to jump off cliffs, smash, you know, light bulbs. I am functional. Mm-hmm. The robot, it's beyond repair. Yes, that boy is big crunch. This is a vehicle. Can I not move this with me? I feel like it should let us move these. Nico. Why are you not able to move cart? Do you is it because you have little noodle arm? Hello again. Are there any more questions you wanted to ask? Mm-hmm. Go on then, ask away. The prophecy. So what's this prophecy exactly? The prophecy predicted that a savior will arrive in another land. The savior will wake up in a strange house, find sun, and illuminate the world. Oh. What else did you did you uh, foresee? What do you mean? What else did you see in the prophecy? Wait, you are the prophet, right? God, or good heavens, no. But you called it my prophecy earlier. That just means it's built into my programming. Your what? Ah, my programming. It's what guides me. I'm a robot after all. I see. I see hot ladder cream. Hmm. Look at those noodle arms. He's so tiny. So dang tiny. Whoa. Let's see what the factory's up to, actually. I haven't been in there. Oh, hello. You exist. Oh, hello. Hi. I have power again. Yes. Hello, organic life form. Hello. Oh, hello. Hi. Yeah, there's nothing I want to use on that masher. It's gonna squeeze something. I'm sure if I insisted enough, Nico would probably put the light bulb in the smasher. But I ain't gonna do that, because I get one opportunity. And then the game's probably gonna uninstall itself. I don't know, maybe. Maybe not. I've been over here. Anything different this way? That note's going. Oh no, there it is. Can't go up. Don't need that note. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Strange black plants. They look like clovers. Yes, indeed, they do. Oh, there's a robot up here. Hello, small person. You're not much bigger than I am. Welcome to Lookout Point. Below is the old quarry. The head engineer lived a little bit more east. The entrance to the old mines is further east. I see. Yeah, I've already been there. So that's what that is. That's a quarry. That thing hecka deep. That thing is really deep. So I need to find me a vehicular for in here. The old light is gone now. Must have imagined it. Yeah, I'm not gonna force you over there. I don't want you to die. Let's talk to that engineer lady again. Oh, I got shocked. I told you not to touch it. it. Says he made me. That's your fault. Definitely. Dusty table. Not very comfortable. I 
I'm still wondering what you can use this dang empty bottle for. Do you need further assistance? We're good, thanks. Hmm. Where does a guy find a good vehicular around here? I wish you could describe all these bits and pieces to me better so I could understand what in tarnation. I could get that it's the quarry, but it's not exactly very high graphic. What say you, safe? Eight digit safe? What say you? I have nothing for you, eight digit safe. I'm sorry. Although I am very interested to see what your business is. Ooh. Music's gonna put me to sleep. So here's a mine cart, but I can't exactly pick up a mine cart now, can I? Hello again. More questions? Mm hmm. Go on, ask. Uh, it's called the Barons. No. I need to find oil. And I have a sneaking suspicion that there's oil inside the safe. Although I have no idea what to put in the code for the safe. There's literally nothing to work with in here. Computers are all smashed up. I am functional. Mm hmm. Oh, you move out of my way. That's very. I uh, know. It's just coincidence. A robot, it's beyond repair. Interessant. The dogs. Yeah, rest is a. Uh, that's uh, an annoying thing to deal with, my friend. I apologize. Do you wish to sleep now, cat person? I'm not sleepy anymore. Can I use the bottle on the smaller ones? No, no, maybe not, no. Okay. I'm surprised you all can't make any light out of all this oak crap here. Like, you all got the little backup generator things going, but you could make a lot more power out of that. Robot, I'm sorry, there is absolutely nothing I can do that I know except for hold this light bulb with my tiny hands. For a small. Well, they said it would be a safety violation, but they didn't say it would kill me. Let's go here first, though. I wonder if it will let me. Or if it'll just be one of those points where it's like, no. Safety violation. Okay. Gotcha. Another one of those shrimp jars. How those things have stayed alive, nobody knows. But I get my congratulations, that's for sure. Watching over the plants. Strange. There's gotta be something I can put in this bottle. I mean, I've got a lot of inventory space, so... Could be something way later. the robots. That's good and all. Am I gonna need to go back and recharge that thing every once in a while, I guess? Maybe. Maybe not. I said it would last a week. 
Maybe if I get off the game for a week, it'll run out. What's the deal with this thing? It's odd layer. It's odder. It's got it's got an odder shape than the other ones. Oh yeah, the computer's active now. I forgot about that. I see you've made progress in this world, says he. But progress stops here. I believe that you need a code to unlock a certain box. Well, the code no longer exists in this world. Do you understand what this means, says he? No? You still don't know the extent of your world's d deterioration? Do you? No. Says he. Sigh. Most of the time, the stray pieces of the world will be lost in blissful nothingness. But this code, this document, is an exception. I'll be able to salvage it because Nico needs a code to progress. Now go find it. Oh, it was probably in the game's file. That's something. Huh. So where is this code you so to speak of? Are you gonna re-edit to the world for me or something? Let me try talking to you again. The code is contained within a document. The document has found a place that belongs outside the game. Do you know where to where to find the document, says he? Yes, good start looking. Oh, that's so weird. I gotta open my file browser. That's wacky. That's actually a really cool thing to do in the game. And it kicks me out of full screen mode too, which makes sense. Let's see here. Yeah, read me text. Hmm, no. Data. Graphics wallpaper dot exe. Well, I thought it would be in its file. Oh, maybe it's in my documents. Maybe. Document one shot dot text. Interesting. It's a bunch of gibberish. Blah, 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 blah. Message to you. I'm afraid to make you brief. Blah, blah, blah. I have left journal and part written language of. Blah, 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 blah. Read it, and you will know what to do. I have also left you a mask. Look for a metal safe in the quarry east, somewhere in the ocean. Look at point. The code is. Let me write this down. That is so cool. That's actually pretty freaking neat. Hold on. Give me uno momentos. Five. Eight. Two. Three. Eight. Zero. Five, eight, two, or three. Five, eight. Five eight two three eight zero. Okay. All right. That's that's all under control. When he was saying documents, he meant literally documents, or they. I, I don't know. It's a computer. So he was literally not in that world. It's in my world. That's actually so cool. Well, now I know what the safe key is. That's wacky, man. I'm coming for you, safe. You better have some dang diddly oil or some junk. Cause that is what I need. Oil. Or something helpful, at least. You know what I mean? 
seems like I don't remember the six digit code. Do you, says he? I do actually. Five, eight, two, three, eight, zero. That's odd. I actually wasn't that far off. Oh, now I c it put me back in full screen. Huh. Whoa, it worked. Wait, how'd you know the code, says he? I still don't remember seeing one. Really? From who? Okay. What's in the safe, Nico? Alright, let's see. I found a gas mask. Also, there's a weird looking book. I can't read it, though. Not that I can't read or anything, because I can't. I just don't know the language this is. Alright! Oh crap, what's that? That's not good. What's that? Uh, good question. I'll wear it when I have to. Can't combine these. That's so weird. Okay, well now we're going up to the gas mask lands. Dang, that's actually really cool. I'm nerding out over this game because it's actually like super unique. I should be fine with the mask on. You look interesting. Very interesting. Oh cool, it even has it in the game. This place is busted up bad. Yo, where the oil at, y'all? Give me some of that oil. Give me some of that oil. What's up in here? Oh, hey, robot. Hello, person. Welcome to the old chemical processing plant. Most of the equipment's already been relocated. Ooh, this is a thing. It's a pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. How are rubber gloves heavy? It seems to be a paper ripped out of a book. Can I overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment? Here's a simple recipe for using alternate methods to discuss in the last chapter. Utilizing natural properties of blue phosphor. Reagrants. Acidic gas. Blue phosphor rare form. In a well ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. That's the end of the page. I see. The door's all boarded up. The boards seem loose though. I should be able to pull them off with the right tool. Lucky for you, I have Half-Life 2. Good thing I kept the crowbar. Yeah, I know, right? What a workout. You seemed that you seemed like it was like easy or something. It seemed simple. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm glad you understand when you have to, because I don't. Uh, without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously in it to initiate a reaction. Use as soon as possible. If the elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Also note, hand protection is critical after this step. The results is acidic. This acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. I don't know what half of these words mean. It's a good thing you're here, says he. Uh, yeah, that's all bad crap, pretty much. A cleaning sponge with a rough surface. Big metal box with complicated machinery inside. Sponge. Can't combine those. Can't combine those. Can't combine those. Alright, I thought I would just throw it around a little bit. Anything around here that's just like stained or some junk that I can uh, mess with? Ooh. There's something weird about the robots who get or get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than others. Fused directly with gas harvesting practice. New. Is there a result of the atmosphere, or am I just seeing things? 
Oh, interesting. So this place is a. H hello. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Hmm? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. Oh, I just got here. To this world, I mean. See, I have the sun. Oh, the Messiah. I do not know what to say. Greeting you was not a part of my programming. Or greeting you was not part of my programming. You have spoken to the Prophet Bot? I think so, yeah. Prophet Bot was built to the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. At least, not with these. Oh, that's kind of weird. What are you built for then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah, why though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. I don't understand. So is this building like this settlement, I guess? Hey, there's a little bit of that. Yeah, reporting for duty. I saw you and spoke to Guardian and Selma. I will, I, will, I will escort you to reach the dormitory. Um, what? Guess we're going in here? Uh, evacuating team room. Makes sense, no point in keeping them in the barrens. People are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going to. Apparently, phase one of the evacuating prim prematurely. The big ships started malfunctioning only after a few trips. Squares and Interesting. This place is very tall. I'm scared of ladders. <laughs> All right. Did people live in these things? It's a power cell, I think. Uh, there's writing on this one too. It says guarding a residential area. Yes, there's nothing more to see in here. Ooh. Sorry, ink is faded. Likely these so, so, uh, no longer be sustained. Fortunately, it does not seem to have any robots, at least not a significant rate. Time will tell. All these terminals do not boot. I'm not sure what to do now. So, I'm sure you're in control of terminals normally. More residential? Oh, there's a robot there. Hello. Hi. What are you doing up there? I'm stationed here. By yourself? Yes. Have fun with that, chief. What's this? It's a paper. Picture of a robot. You know, I've never been around so many robots here before, says he. Or any robots at all. I mean, I see you in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen him one in person. Pretty neat, don't you think? What? Uh, ahem. Beep boop. I'm a robot and I uh, eat batteries instead of normal people food. <laughs> that is not correct. Oh. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess a digestive system. Some ro robots don't even have mouths. Bummer. Says he. You made me look silly. Well, I'm sorry. You poor little thing. You look silly because you're being a fool. I'm just kidding. That's a little bit rude. What I mean is, you little fart. You're freaking cute as hell. Six more weeks until I can come home. About time, huh? Oh crap, I skipped the dialogue. Looks like we're supposed to just, uh, uh, No, I'm not gonna say anything. So are these like for robots, I guess? I'm scared of ladders. Don't 
Don't worry, I ain't gonna make you climb no ladder. Not yet, at least. Yeah, no point of that being there. It's for aesthetic. That's a travel area, probably. Evacuation. That's such short notice. I can't believe this. First son dies, now I'm out of the job. Some sort of mechanical drawing. Not gonna show me? That robot is broke as hell. Reporting for duty. Seems that you have already been assigned an escort unit. Would you like me to leave? You can follow me if you want. Understood. I will escort you until you reach your dormitory. This place looks different. It's like a health center. Medical center. It's a box of bags, old tools. Most of them are broken and rusted beyond use. This plastic syringe seems to be okay. Do not inject yourself with that at all. Hello, portion of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Um, scan complete. Injuries detected? None. Treatment required? None. You're good to go. Er, thanks. Good manager. Hello, person. Are you seeking admission into the into the infirmary? No. Oh, carry on then. Yeah, no one's taking up residency here. Interesting. Not my dormitory. It'd be nice to know which one it is. Cause all of this is and it is very interesting. There's a lot of things here. All right, let's go this way. Cause that looked like it went somewhere. Yes, it did. Big brain. Okay, it's a gas field. Probably leads back over to the first part. Got some big old floofy ears or something. Taking up the entire screen. The vent's on the ground. And all the others are taller than me. Vent's on the ground. Nope, can't use that. I guess you want me to fill a bottle of gas? Nah, do it. Hey bottle of smoke. Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted in the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite the failure the first to bring some interesting observations and bearings, we found that there's not one, but two such vent zones. With the fumes being pumped out at such high concentration, it seems a miracle that gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Okay, la di da. I've got a jar of debt, I've got a jar of gas. Probably could have just farted in it, but that works. What's over here? Ooh, it's a bubble. This pond looks different. The water looks like jelly. It's formed a bubble over the surface of the pond. Can I do a thing? So we're filling the syringe. I guess this is Kind of like a funeral or funnel. The liquid might be a bit too thick to fit the needle. Hey, it actually went in. Gross. I have things. Uh, it's like I'm a doctor. Oh, should probably shake it too. It changed color. Bottle of acid. Hey! I'm gonna go pour some acid on the robot and hopefully he doesn't die. Seems to keep rust off him pretty good. To the docks. Hello, robot friend. Oop, probably further down. If I remember. Yes. I have got you some acid. Guessing you want me to pour us. Yeah, good thing I have these gloves. Hey, hey, hey. 
hope this works. Wet sponge. All right, hold still. I have no other choice. Fair enough. There. How's that? I... I can move. Thank you. I am able to fulfill my purpose again. Where would you like to go? Can you take me to the tower? Calculating. Closest destination to the tower is... The Glen. Port number... Negative. My built-in navigation circuits have been... Er, uh, have fried. I'm gonna assume that's not good. It's not good at all. Once again, I cannot follow my programming. Oh. Is there anything I can do to help? In the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. She'll know what to do. I know just the person. Ooh. Huh. My cape blends in here. Weird. Or scarf or whatever. Excuse me, miss. I thought a robot can take me towards the tower. It's having trouble. So he told me to talk to you. Alright. What's the issue? He said something about the navigation circuits being fried. Just the navigation circuits? Apparently. Says so I fixed everything else, I think. Hmm. I have something that may help. Robots. I like the pun. Have the ability to trace material from their source locations. If I let a robot borrow this, then its backup tracking system should activate. Oh, you're gonna give me a thing. Look at that cute little face. What? How could you ever not give something like that to something like that? This is adorable. That's very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber I found from Glenn. That's what's inside the amber. A bla the black clover. It's a common plant in our world. It's also... I'm not sure if you can bear part with this. If I can bear part to part with this. My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. You was a robot? I thought you was a lady. Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need to keep safe. Here. Oh, thank you. Before I go, is there anything else I can do in return? Actually, do you know how to play chess? Yeah. Well, sort of. I played it with the older kids before. You will play a game with me? I mean, I don't know the rules very well, but I guess I can, it's the least I can do. I love chess. You're really good at this. Thank you. I was built. In, it was built into my code. Ah. So, what's it like being a robot and all? I've talked to other robots, and they all say something about programming and code and stuff. Even you did, just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Most robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. There goes my bishop. Taming is complicated. Oh? How complicated, exactly? There goes another bishop. I can't really explain what tamed robots are. But I'm one of them. All the other robots have been moved to other regions. Exactly where I don't know. Oh. There goes a little horse. Knight. Right. Oh, have you ever been to any of the other regions? I heard there are two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data in my coordinates and my memories. I don't know how much it still holds true. The world may be a very different place now. Because the sun's gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. And the sun's sudden death was just a tri tipping point, and things went south really fast after that. Oh. And there's nothing I can do? Check. What? When did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way that you are supposed to second chance for the people. You are the only. <laughs> you are only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like the Baron. Just like how the Barons was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will work out. But. Checkmate. Alright, I guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. 
Oh, ah, uh, uh, thank you also. I was kind of hoping it would let me play chess. And I would lose because it's a robot, but still. Hmm. To the docks. Have you talked to the head engineer yet? She lives near the main entrance, or mine entrance. Get in your coordinates, but. Oh, yeah, I should probably equip that. Oh! Zambert from Glen. I can remember now. Activating tracking system. Setting course. Wait. Boat's over capacity. You'll need to leave behind some of your possessions. Oh. Well, I don't think I'll be needing the scroll bar anymore. Or this gas mask. Or the, and the gloves. This is acceptable. Onwards we go. Dag Nebit. There's probably going to be something where a crowbar would have been helpful. It looks absolutely wondrous. Look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> wow. Wow. Ooh. Please just stop. The glare. Thank you. There should be a village in the north, but that's all I can recall. Oh, that's good to know. Farewell. May your mission succeed. Be a success. Are you leaving? Yes. I must return to the station. But you'll be all alone again. It's okay. I have not been tamed. So, are tamed ones just like... Ones that have emotion, I guess? Ones that have people to look out for? Ooh. Oh dang, this place is big shine. Swampy, spory, shiny. The whole shabam. I like how everything's good and level though. Means I can walk around. Ah, this house is weird. Huh. Weird house. Super weird house. Okay, yeah, there's nowhere I can go over here. Onwards we go. I love the little cinematic bits, those are just, those are nice. Wait a second. Hmm. It's kind of like my whiskers just disappear when I, uh, walk through small areas. Oh, hello. I'm catching fireflies for mommy. Oh, there are living thingies here. Lots of dead stumps. Pottery. Look like crab shells. I'm not ready to go anywhere yet. I went to look through this area. Get a good. Hello to the, all the humans. Perhaps. Oh, hello. Bird person, I think. There was a time when people used to live in these ruins. But due to the flooding, must have moved to less permanent settlements. Flooding? Aye, the land gotten brittle. The glen used to be, uh, to be one, to be in one play, piece, you know. But now it's just a bunch of islands that get smaller and smaller. Ah. An empty jar. A fishing pole. Guessing you don't want me to take that. A jar full of fireflies. Fishing pole. A bed. Well, it's more like a mattress. A bed. Well, it's more like a mattress. You got food? It's a fish stew. Seem like you'd like a fish stew being all cat like and junk. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so the docks seem to be where the areas connect. Looks like you're running out of land where that dock will connect, huh? That'd be a problem. These clovers are all over. They're not just in the barrens. Ain't that something? This place has got a bunch of business going on. Ooh, a little bell. Lots of little bells. Hello? 
Most of the green moss covering the village has already lost its, its glow. It wasn't for the thin strip left boundaries of land, people would easily fall into the ocean. Without light, and the water becomes indistinguishable here. The water, land and water becomes indistinguishable. I see. That doesn't sound good. This place is a little bit big to search everything for. And I don't want to go rummaging through all these people's items. <laughs> Bang. 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 Got, got your goat. Hello. Hmm. I need someone to help me herd my rams. Oh, I can do that. I've seen grown-ups do it back home. You kind of just push them around. Hmm. But you're carrying the sun. Ah. Wait. Can't you just watch the sun for me? I cannot. I am but a simple shepherd. Um. Okay. Come back when your hands are free. You will be rewarded. How the heck am I supposed to come back when my hands are free? When I get rid of this dang thing that's keeping the world alive, it's gonna, it's gonna, you know, I'm gonna be out of here. Like, zoom. Cat person on the run. Lots of moss. Ooh, what do we got here? Hey, uh. Are you here to trade? Trade? Yeah. Is there anything, you know, you, you want to get rid of? Make me an offer. I'll give you something in return. Hmm. Do you have something like that? No. Whoa. That's a lot of shiny things. Glass shards, glass marbles. Into glass bottles. Mostly glass bottles. Glass bottles filled with different things. It's a string, colored wool, plain wool. Fabric scraps of rusty buckets, scrap metal shells, and some rocks. What's all this for, by the way? I just think they're neat. Ah. Don't mind me rummaging through your house. Parachutes, some jewelry. Yeah. This place is weird. It's all the pillars. A fork could take away our farmlands, but it can't take away our fish. That's a great way to look at it. That is why you survive and many others died or killed themselves. How about down? Yeah. Doorway is full of vines. Nope, we got absolutely nothing to deal with vines. If only we brought that crowbar. Dagnet it. I'm surprised you even knew what a towing capacity is. My character is thoroughly intoxicated. What's this all about? Farmland. That's what it looks like. Small sprites. I gotta be careful, don't step on these. Okay, I leave them be in that case. It's the only farmland they got around here, apparently. <laughs> Let's try the other dock. Loa. Aloha, where did you go? Susie, did you hear that? Aloha, Alula, Alula. I think it's coming from the southeast of here. You're very good with your directions. You know that, kid? Hey, you there. Have you seen, uh, seen a little girl? She's a little bit shorter than you and, uh... Wait, that's the sun. Are you our savior? I... Yeah. Oh, my stars. Sorry for the rudeness. Huh? It's alright. Are you looking for someone? My little sister, she's been gone for three days now. I've been looking all over, but... What does she look like? Um, a little shorter than you, long blue hair. Two blue feathers on top of her head. 
I'm sorry, I haven't seen one like that. What was the last place we saw her? Back inside the ruins. She said she headed towards the forest, so I'm waiting for her here now. I ran out of places to look. Well, that's sad. That's plain old unfortunate for you, my man. I apologize. I'll do a, I'll do a look here and there, with my omnificent eye. <laughs> Lots of bridges. Hey, a robot. Hello, person. Welcome to the research station. Hello. Did Silver Point send you? No, I'm with Sezzy. Oh, carry on then. Yeah, they say like they know who I am. I'll leave I'll be. I'll seem like you're doing something. A generator. This one's working battery. Yeah, the old one broke, I guess. Or somebody took it. Well, this place's battery's working just fine. Got yeah, a busted pot. Full of little glass tubes of water. Water samples. Oh. What's so uh, interesting about that? Their water. Checking it for disease, maybe? I'd, I'd hate to actually live here. Like, the water looks so dang deep. And it's steep. Yeah, it's like no wonder the island's just falling. They don't got all that good side support going on. Gotta have that length and width. Mountain style. Lots of clovers. Hey, big guy. The sign. You're the messiah. Are you on the way to the tower? Mm-hmm. You can enter the refuge through this wall. You'll need to sign your name in the scroll first. All right. Do you have a pen? Uh, no. I lost mine. Perhaps you should look around the glen for another. That's not cool. Makes sense though, I can't just get into the good place without looking a crap ton around. Looks like I've got sprouts in the wall. What's all the business about around here? Seems to go pretty deep down. That's a lot of vines. The cluster of vines is blocking the way. Tough. I bet you there's just vines behind that first vine place I saw. Or there's some, uh, a pin behind that first vine place I saw. Maybe. Hey! Oh god, it's gonna do a thing. Oh crap. The game changed my background, that's so weird, like on my computer, because it changed it back out of full screen again. Hello again, Suzzy. It seems I need to help you again. Nico will not be able to progress otherwise. This time, the information you need has fallen in the most easily accessible place in the machine. Do you see it? That would be my... Um... Desktop. Oh yeah, it changed the background. This time... Yeah, it changed my desktop. Yeah, I see it. You'll know what to do with it then. So the background on my computer, this game has too much permissions. The background of my computer is of this game now. Not this game, but like what it wants me to know. I guess that'll be helpful for a puzzle. That's so weird. That's... S savior? I can't believe you're real. Miss? Are you alright? No. We should give you a village. Maybe they could... It's okay. It's okay. Too late for me. But 
this time. I haven't seen it. I haven't felt it in so long. Siri, if it's not too much trouble, can you leave me the sun for a while? I will it make you better? No. It will not save me. I just want to experience it with the sun one more time. Before then I will Oh. Would it would it be too selfish of me to ask? Oh god, it's the sun. I um uh mm, I'm sorry, I can't give it to you. I apologize. I really do. I feel bad for you. I just can't have it broke. It's literally the entire world's future. Inside this little piece of glass. And that's not good at all. And I know I could probably go hurt cheap for that guy up top if I gave the light bulb to him. But. Moral dilemma. They could be a trick. The pathway is blocked by blocks. Could you not push them over? Alright, well, you only live once. Let's give it to them. Hopefully they don't destroy the world. It'll be the end of days, but here we go. What should I do? Here. Warm. I have almost forgotten. It's so warm. That's good, right? The vines should be gone now. I'm not afraid anymore. I'll be back for that. I'm just gonna go herd some goats. And I'll be right back. Don't you dare destroy that sun. That thing needs more care than you'll ever know. I'd assume it's not exactly easy for me to create another. Seeing as I would have to distort reality or something. Oh, I see. This is going to be annoying. It's a puzzle. Sure. He probably wants me to do it this way. Hey -o. So that's what it wanted me to know. What we got here? You saved me. Hey, my background's back to normal. Thank you. I was trapped there so long. Are you a Lula? You know my name. Wow, the Messiah really does know everything. Actually, your brother. I just met your brother earlier. Oh, right. Gosh, Callius must be worried. Or Calmus. Can you bring me to him? Okay. Let's go. I don't have the sun with me. Your eyes. Huh? They remind me of the sun. Oh. That's why you're the messiah, right? Well, I, uh... A lot of people back home world would have eyes like mine. Home world? Yeah. I'm actually from another world, you see. It's a place where the sun is in the sky, not in the tower. Do you like the world, too? Uh, yeah. Yay. You're here now. You can make everything better. Yeah. Well, I hope so. Yeah, you were trapped in a small room. That that's a bad voodoo. Let's get you out of here once I figure out how to get out of here myself. We're going on an adventure. Bye. 
Gotta go herd some goats. And get this youngin back to their brother. You think you'd be uh, trying to eat me or something? Three days is a long time to be hungry. I don't know. You're okay. Thank goodness. Well, I was trapped in a room and it was really scary. But then the Messiah saved me. Trapped? In the ruins? Yeah. There's a weird stuff on the door. You know, like floating squares and what you see next in the ocean sometimes. The stuff he told me to stay away from. What? It's red to the ruins now. That isn't good. Don't worry, I didn't touch it. I'm not hard or anything. Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. What's the square stuff exactly? Bad. Anything that touches them just sort of gets messed up. Whatever you hear people say the world is decaying, that's not, that's what they mean. Obviously, you should avoid them too. I will. Anyway, uh, I can't thank you enough for rescuing my sister savior. Just call me Nico. Oh gosh, it would be not rude to call you by your name. Huh? Why would it be? I mean, I'm just a kid like you guys. Ah. Then would you like to visit our house? Sure. I've got nothing better to do. Oh shoot. Looks like we can't get past the block. Seriously? That's what I was thinking. I'll be up ahead. Huh. So I walked into your guys' house. I have literally never thought of that. You kind of get used to all the debris around living here for a while. Come on. Our house isn't far up from here. <laughs> she kicked the block. <laughs> so welcome to our home. Oh, that's not much, but... Uh, you really make yourself comfortable. Ah, there it is. Here, we want you to have this. Ooh, shiny feather. Ooh, a feather. The edge is glowing yellow. It's a sacred feather from the great prophet. Oh, yeah. She's this old lady our dad used to know. Her feathers can glow dark, and she can see into the future. What? Or something like that. She gave us one of her feathers to her father before she died. The feather wanted to pass down to the heirloom, although it feels more fitting for you to have it. Are you sure? Totally. I think that's what the father would have wanted. Thank you. Giving it to a random stranger just because they found your sister. Okay. There's a clover symbol cover in this book. Hey, just like. Oh, my book. Gosh, I still need to finish studying it. Oh? My friend gave it to me on Souls this day. He's the one who wrote it, actually. He's also the one who taught me how to read. Oh! I have a few more books like this somewhere. Looks like spoiled food. Oh no! I guess that's what happens when you leave your house for three days. Dang, you've been searching for a while, pal. There's lots of beds here. It's a bed. Well, that's more like a mattress. It's a bed. Well, that's more like a mattress. It's a blush toy. That's mine. Uh, it's mine. Our friend gave it to me at least last year. Oh. Yeah, he is a fox too. And she can even talk. What? I know. I thought she was the coolest thing ever. So you got me a fox plush for Celestic Kitten. Solstice Day. He's the best. It's a bed. Well, it's more like a mattress. Back room is full of dust and cobwebs. It's a fishing pole. Do you like to fish, Nico? Yeah! So do we. They're good in stews. Or soups. But I know people back home who like 
to eat them raw. Ew. Yep. That is not hard to believe at all. That makes sense. The back of your house is interesting. Hey. I saw you going for the courtyard. So I thought I'd tag along. Same. Y'all aren't really tagging along that much, are you? This place looks a whole lot smaller on the outside. Or, as Doctor Who prefers it, it's bigger on the inside. It's a ball. That's mine. It doesn't bounce around as much as it used to, though. Okay. Don't know what those ring-a-ding-dingers do. Them bells. Make a run for it before they catch up. Run, fool! I gotta go talk to goat. Or get some goats. Herded and junk. This away. Then I gotta get my light bulb back. From the probably dead person. Y'all dragged me back here. I mean, it was willingly, but still. My objective is further away due to it. Where the heck that one person that got the goats? Gotta go pet the goats. Gotta go herd the goats. And I didn't think that there would ever be a time where I'd get rid of the light. And it was hard to make that decision, but I did. And, uh, yeah, I put your entire world at risk so you could mess with some goats. Oh, I see your hands are free. Would you like to help her hard bar? I'm a great reward store for you, I promise. Yes. Excellent. To the south of San Peninsula, and it bedded by my rams. They're standing on unfortunate spots. You need to move them into darker moss. If you get stuck, ring a bell and they'll all return to their original positions. Good luck. What? Nope, not tickling. I didn't hear how this works. What the heck? That is one weird goat. That is one weird goat. Ah, oh, I see. It's a poosley. I'm probably thinking it far too complicated. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, that that didn't go as planned. Hmm. This is an interesting challenge indeed. I think I've got it. <laughs> Give me a little victory thing. You provide any service to all ram kind. In return, take this ram wool. Uh, thanks. I can trade that to the person. Maybe. Do you want some wool by chance? You take rule, right? What can this wool get me? Uh huh. That'll get you uh, this fine vial of. I'm not sure what this is actually. Some sort of fabric dye. I'll do it. Pleasure doing business. I have fabric dye. No clue what I'd use that for. Oh yeah, we can use this. Ah! Yes. You are smarter than I am. I think... This place is so weird. Oh, I've got a feather pen. Well, I just tarnished an heirloom. That was not a very good thing to do, but... We're gonna roll with it because we need to do that. Dark. Uh oh. The light's gone out. Do you know what happened? You. Bye bye. Oh. Oh, I gotta do. There's a light right there. Let's pick that sucker up before it goes. It lit again. Phew. She's gone. Oh. There's something on the ground here. It looks like a kernel of corn. She must have left it behind. It would seem that you are, in fact, the light of the world. Or something like that. Something, something wise junk. Phew! I guess as long as it can be relit, it's fine. Because that one guy said as long as that thing, if that thing goes out, then we are screwed. Huh. Sorry, didn't mean to intrude. Not the way I needed to go. You were very sad for a second there. And I was too, because I was like, oh. Is the world gonna die? Is my fi my file gonna be deleted? Uh, it was a bad situation. No pun intended about the goats. Bad! Yeah, that computer's dead. So whenever I talk to computers, it talks to me, rather. The Nico. Interesting. Further research required. I step real loud. Hey, oh, to the front. How do you do? I'm too tired to go on right now. Who's up in that? 
for a bit somewhere. I remember seeing a room in, to the west. It looked it might be a good place to take a rest. West is, um, left, I think. No. R up. Compass. Compass on a map. I'm looking it up. West is indeed left. I was right the first time. Okay, don't care. Uh, left it is. You will sleep. The game will close. Uh, I will reopen the game. You will be awake. Or you'll have... You'll be dreaming. Maybe. We'll see. All I know is you need some sleepies. Interestingly enough. I mean, I have had you on auto sprint for like the entire game, so... Makes enough sense, I suppose. This is not a sleepy place. What is that thing? In and out, like? Well, yeah, but. I do not like the look of that. I'm just trying to find a place for my dang child to take a nap. This small creature must be protected at all costs. And the light they hold. That part is very important as well. This way, maybe? It's a bed. Well, it's more like a mattress. Can you not ask someone? It's a bed. Well, more like a mattress. I need to borrow your bedding. I need slip. Nico needs a nap. You got some hecka hard to beat standards. We got a spinning kid over here. What's it with these people and their bird junk? But then again, I'm over here like wearing a bunch of cat crap. It's a bed. Well, it's more like a mattress. Uh, well, more like a mattress. Nico, I have no clue what dang bed you were talking about, pal. I don't see it. I started going west. I didn't see anything perfectly west. Let's retrace. 
This is the opening with the golem. And Nico said to go west. No, it's not. This is the puzzle room. Up we go. This is the exit. Seeing a room to the west. It looks like I might go. Alright, well, I'll check again. Maybe they're just being in this general area over here. I shan't go up, for they said west. Weast. <laughs> yeah, I don't see no room, pal. <laughs> Not yet, at least. Give it a try. Hmm. Run, fool. Let's try to go down. Where the bloody hell did you see your room? Could one of your robots kindly or kindly point me in the direction of a room of sleep ability? This not the room you're thinking of. Too bad you cannot tell me exactly what you mean. Cause I'm a little bit dumbfounded right now. Where's this dang place you're talking about, you dang cat person? You sweet, absolute person of a person. You dang youngin. Where'd that room you talked about? This game was 200 megabytes. Maybe 300. That's not even a gigabyte. It's a very small game. But it's a very big game. I know this ain't where the room is. Let's take another little effort at sleeping. Mm -hmm. 
some not here. One moment. So anyway, everyone, um, sorry I'm too lazy to edit this junk, but uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, I'll continue to uh, make this crap so you can see what happens. But anyway, um, sorry, Nico, time to go to bed. Quit and record your progress? That I will. You all can't see it, but that I will. Anyway, have a good day, y'all, and uh, well, goodbye. Once I'm done forcing scale, oh god, when I unforce the scale, it's like, weird. Anyway, uh, bye y'all.